are obsessed with the Connie Fife Show. It's about a lifestyle shift to move up or out. Hey, you want your jam? What's the one thing that really drives you? What makes you unstoppable? It's about opening a new door to live your dream. People give up way too early on their dreams. It's about enjoying the journey. It's about keeping it real. Damn, now the interviewee is interviewing the interviewer. I like this. It's all about you. I knew there was something else I wanted to do. Stop taking shit so seriously. Y'all can do this. Take an outrageous look at life and laugh. This is the Connie Fife Show. We love your voice. We love your jam. You need to be on radio. And now your host, Connie Fife. Well, hello there. You're listening to The Connie Fife Show, and I'm Connie Fife, your unstoppable diva. I want to thank you for coming back time and time again, listening to our show, sharing our show, because our loyal listeners continue to come back because they want to learn about business success and how to turn their fame into a thriving business. And you can all do the same thing as well, because we continue to do that each and every show, because we believe that you are the brand. So let's get on with the show. Today's show, we're going to talk about something very, very unique and interesting. And and every time I have another guest on the show, I say they're the best guest. And then I have another another one come on. And I'm like, he's the best guest. I like everyone gets it's like everyone is better and better and better. I love our guests. So let me introduce really quickly our, our, our guest for today. He's an authority entrepreneur. Hire him to build seven and eight figure enterprises. So who doesn't love him already? He is helping them package their wisdom and knowledge and build a global movement in the process. He has started some 82 businesses of his own, definitely has surpassed me, from seven to seven figures and beyond. So more importantly, his personal coaching clients have generated more than $100 million in sales in multiple industries. It's across industries. But as many entrepreneurial leaders have done, he's made tons of mistakes. And and he claims more mistakes than anyone has made in a lifetime. And he has also lost millions several times over as well. He's an international bestseller, uh, bookseller, writer, author. He has shared his message to more than 100,000 entrepreneurs in four continents, on television, on radio, in print, on podcast interviews. And he now leads an emerging global enterprise with a mission to empower 10 thousand authority entrepreneurs to build global movements with seven and eight figure businesses. And his goal is to do that over the next five years. So Mr. Todd Madsen, welcome to the Connie Five Show. And I am going to challenge you on that. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Thank you, Connie. Uh, that introduction to my mom would be proud of. I appreciate that. <laughs> now talk about pressure, not only best guests, but I understand you're like radio personality of the year. So I that means am. I'm going to have to up my game and actually be entertaining too. Oh, my gosh. I don't know. I I know. I got got that award recently. Thank you for recognizing. The only award I got was I had the face for radio. My mom would always tell me uh, I have the (laughs) face for radio. But (laughs) you have a voice, too. You definitely have a voice, too. I never thought I had a voice. Um, Yeah. But maybe yeah, the face. But um, yeah, I knew I knew people doing radio, you know, years growing up. And at one point, I actually worked for Axel Salt, and um, we had somebody who worked there. But he was a weekend DJ, and everybody thought, "Oh, he's a DJ. We gotta love him, and he's stunning, and he's this, and he's this." And I used to sit there and think, "What the hell does a DJ do?" <laughs> All they, do is, all they do is sit there and talk, 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 talk. Yeah. Uh, I, I've soon to come out. I mean, I've been doing this almost seven years, but yes, to be named the 2019 Radio Personality of the Year. I, I was I was blown away. I love it. I, I did love not it. expect it at all. At all. But loving, loving every minute of it. Yeah, I always lo- love those accolades. It's nice to know people are listening. Totally. Yes, definitely, definitely nice to know. So you are claiming that in the next five years that you were going to be helping folks reach seven and eight figure businesses. So 
10,000 people, not just the people. Yeah, 10,000 people 10, is our goal. 10,000 people. So, yeah. how, so tell me how you're going to do that. I want the secret sauce. Well, and it's, you know, it's fascinating because when we set that as a strategic goal, which was just six months ago as we uh-huh. record this, um, I have a new chief operations officer and partner from Australia, and mm-hmm. we knew we needed up the game we were playing. And, of mm-hmm. course, the first thing you do is you come up with a new mission statement. We had just interviewed some fascinating people for an online summit. And you know how those summits are. Sometimes you get great interviews. Sometimes you don't. Mm. These were (laughs) fascinating people, every single one of them. Mm. And one in particular talked about a fresh perspective on mission statements and visions to empower your strategic team. And I went to empower your strategic team. And then he talked, you know, I asked questions and he's like, right. well, yeah, you know, your stakeholders, your joint venture partners, your employees, your vendors, your best customers. And I thought, well, I, I used to teach that, but I'm not doing it. Right. Don't, <laughs> right? You, don't you love that? Yes. As you totally. Know, as you totally. Know, I so I spent the next 24 yeah. hours with David and we went through and we said, okay, what's the game we're going to play what exactly is it going to look like? And then we, and, and of course his advice was make it as big and bold as you possibly can. Mm-hmm. And we did 10,000 people, seven or eight figure businesses, five right. years. And frankly, even though we're very happy with the work we're doing, our current growth and scale at the time we set that goal, we, we would be on track to do about 600 people. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. So it was, it was a big stretch for us too. Okay. And three months later, we had the plan almost by osmosis. And in fact, we'll talk about it today because one of the elements that we're going to talk about is, is the, the power of strategic risk reversal. And when we were working on the plan of, okay, well, how exactly would we pull that off? What would it take? You know, I love that question, right? Well, if you could do it, how would you? Well, you know what I love? A couple of things that you've said in there already, and I know we're going to get to the content of what you're talking about, but you set a plan. And I mean, you thought it was this big pie in the sky plan and how are we going to do it? And now it's happening. Yeah. You're, and you're doing it. And, and part of what ended up happening on the back end of that big summit mm-hmm was we'd done a survey with the participants of the summit. It was an online summit. We had 90 speakers and and keynote speakers and and breakout people. It was huge, massive, eight days, 90 speakers. It was a ton of work. And we did a post-summit survey. And one of the questions we asked was the average income you'd made in the last 12 months. Right. And I know the data. You know the data. This answer still stunned me at how low it was on average. Yes. And so my business partner, David, said, you know what? We got to change that. Why don't we take one of our high ticket programs that we sell for $10,000? Right. And let's give it away. Let's give it away. Let's give away 100 scholarships. So we gave away a million dollars worth of our most popular program Mm -hmm. to those people on a first come first qualified basis, they couldn't right. just you know they couldn't just fog a mirror. They had to qualify. No, no, right, right. But no money was required. Right. And in the process, we started serving them and supporting them, and they're loving it and getting results. And mm-hmm. our thought was, you know, maybe three or four months down the road, some of them might upgrade, and some of them might become raving fans. Right. So that would justify the economic cost. Mm-hmm. But we really did it just to help them and get them going. Well, guess what? We had tremendous economic impact in the first month okay, because of the generosity of the gift, a million dollars worth of scholarships. And all of a sudden, we looked at this and went, wait a second. So we can actually give away our most popular program and be rewarded economically in the process. Isn't that a surprise? So 2020, we're going to give away $10 million worth of scholarships per quarter. Wow. Per quarter. Wow. And in fact, if we have time, we'll even offer it to your listeners today. Wow. <laughs> $10,000 scholarship. Oh, wow. Because literally what we found is you give away your best stuff. Right. People fall in love with you and they want to do more business. Well, right. that's a novel idea, isn't it? <laughs> well, I, I, I am of that belief. The, that totally. The, the more you give away, the more you are going to get back. And, and am, you, we've talked am, before, you're into karma and dharma yes, and, and, and then yes. what comes back. I, we had never, we are too, but I'm telling you, we've never given away high ticket programs in volume before. We've given away one right. on a contest or something, right? but we've never given away a whole bunch. And Black Friday, we just did our Black Friday anti-sale as we record this, and <laughs> we gave away another 450000 in scholarships. 
Wow. And it's, and it's so back. cool. It's just a ton of fun. And so now we have, we actually have three paths to get that target met, but our primary path will be literally giving away thousands of scholarships next year. And uh, as well, part of this well, strategy, let's talk about the program that you're giving away. Well, it's, it's around our core philosophy as entrepreneurs, mm-hmm. way too many entrepreneurs don't make money. You know that you talk to people all the time. I know that. And that's, right? why, and that's why I went into business. It's very similar to what you're talking about to help people that are not making money. Uh, and, so and it's tragic. It. It's tragic. I even saw data the other day from the, the International Coaching Federation. Mm-hmm. It says the average business coach makes 32000 a year. Yeah. Well, you know, I live in Vancouver. Right, you're near New York City. Right, you can't, you can't buy a door on a house for thirty two thousand. No, <laughs> no. Why right? do you think, why? And that's why I'm not living in New York City. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. I, I mean, it's just yeah. insane. I mean, people can't support their families. They can't do the not charity they want to do. They can't give back. They can't hire mm-hmm. people. And so, for us, our philosophy, and then we started this about three and a half years ago, mm-hmm. and we realized that. What we want to do is come up with a way to help people package their wisdom and knowledge right. and sell it. And what the breakthrough for us was a couple of things. Number one was that if you do it right, i.e. in our case with a master class mm-hmm. first, you can sell a high ticket program as the first purchase. Okay. Not not down the road in this funnel, this mythical yeah, funnel. Right. Everyone tells you about this mythical funnel, but you've met many of the heavy hitters behind the yes. scenes. That's they don't make their money on their funnels. No, that's not. They what make their money on their high ticket offer, mm-hmm. and that's what they're doing. They're 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 leaving the breadcrumbs to get you up the mountain, so then you can purchase those high ticket offers. Except when you go back and talk to them, and I've had the pleasure of sharing the stage with a lot of them and meeting them behind the scenes and getting in their masterminds and getting to know them. They never made their money with the progression. No. They made their money by selling the high ticket first. Right. And then they developed the progression model later. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm Jeff Walker. I admire and respect Jeff dramatically. I was in his platinum mastermind. Jeff did over 10 million in sales before he sold a book mm. on how to do product launch. Well, no, that goes after <laughs> everything that we're taught, right? <laughs> yeah. You yeah. have to have a book. So you yeah, well, and, and, and then this whole tripwire, low ticket stuff. Uh-huh. So that was the first thing we did. We realized we got to reinvent that. And then the right. second thing was we got to guarantee results. Yeah. We, we, we need to guarantee results and we'll dig into that in more in a bit, but, okay. but I, I was, had the good fortune. Well, I committed the money and had the good fortune to hire Jay Abraham as a personal coach for a number of years. And Jay taught me the power of a great guarantee. He mm-hmm. calls it, and I call it strategic risk reversal. Mm-hmm. And so we combine those two ideas, high ticket program and guaranteeing results for your clients together. Right. And I had done launch after launch after launch for almost mm-hmm. 10 years and never more than mid six figures. And we, we tested this idea. I remember distinctly, it was March, three years ago, and we tested it. And we had 95 people on our masterclass. Okay. And we did 1.1 million in signed contracts, Connie. Mm-hmm. 1.1 million with 95 people. Right. And it was like, and it was, it, as it turned out, it was $1,100,000 contracts. Yeah. And now in our model, we don't collect all that money up front. We link right. it to results. Right, right. But, the, but we collected uh, 12 and a half percent of that up front and the rest right. was all linked to results. And it was like, right. holy cow. And so we realized if people have what we now call authority. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. If you have wisdom and knowledge, if you have a better way of doing something. Right. And you package it right. And you market it right, i.e. Right. you give value, you share, and you inspire people right. to join you, right. then you can sell a high ticket program as the first purchase. Mm-hmm. And that was the game changer for us. In fact, we now call it a game changer program. So the scholarship we give away is our game changer program academy. Mm, okay. And it's, it's a four month co- deep dive, high end coaching program with all right. the training and accountability partners and support. Because here's the thing. The industry doesn't want you to know this. And people listening in, please don't take don't offense. Tell, and well, don't tell anybody either. Well, <laughs> it's but it, secret. If, if, well, no, this is something that I learned from Tony Robbins. 97% of the people that buy courses never complete them. They don't. 97%. And that's Tony's numbers. And he's kind of got a good team, you know, motivated people hang around Tony, good crew, lots of people. 
97% of those people don't finish the program, the yes. course, the course. Right. They don't finish the course. They, you know, sometimes it's a challenge even to get them to execute, to, to, yep. get, to leave go. And then, you know, then. Try yeah, you're right. Because that's not counting the people who don't even, who don't get results. Some finish the course right. and don't get results. Right. Results is even smaller than the 3%. Right. We're just talking about people getting through the course and, and taking. And that's not good enough. And in fact, we call that whole world now the entrepreneur education cabal. Because their job is just to sell you stuff. I'll use right. the clean word. I'll keep it, keep it clean for Radio uh, World. We don't need to. Okay. Well, their job's to sell you the shit, <laughs> as Dan Kennedy would say. <laughs> in fact, Dan Kennedy was one of the few people in the cabal that was fully transparent all his life. Well, I mean, he said yeah. to me, Tom, my job's to sell you the shit. Your job's to use it. Right. And you right? Know, that used to frustrate me, though, when I would go to these events. And I remember the very first time I was still, I was still a virgin. <laughs> and I went to these events and, and, and I was like thrown like these programs at me and I was like, whoa, what just happened? But of course, you know, the emotions are high and you got to buy everything. I'm guilty. Which, what, which, which programs did I use? I mean, I eventually got through them because in my mind, it's like, wait a minute, I paid for these. I got to get through them. Right. But I mean, I have a bookshelf of letters and certificates and things that I've done. But so many people that I've come across don't follow through. They don't complete the process. And like you said, you know, then I'm talking to speakers and they're like, you know, we're not making any money. My average, like last year, I made $20,000. I'm like, okay, we got to change this. And the key is you need to deliver. If you're selling a course right now, I want you to think about this. If you're tuning in and you sell a course, mm -hmm. 97% aren't getting the result. Right. On average, assuming you're as good as Tony Robbins. Okay. Right. Maybe you're better than Tony. Maybe 95% don't get results. Good for you. Mm -hmm. But here's the thing, any other industry and they would shut you down. Yes. Can you imagine going to a restaurant and 97% of the time you don't get your lunch right. when you order it? Right. <laughs> okay? And you pay for it and you pay, you for, pay it, for it. Right. <laughs> they would shut that restaurant down in a week. Right. right. The police would come in and seize the cash register and lock mm -hmm. the manager up. Right. But we, we think it's OK because it's information marketing. Well, guess what? Mm -hmm. It's not OK. <laughs> you have to deliver. It's intellectual property. We get that. But there there's a difference between an offering and delivering on your promise. And that comes down to skills, accountability mm -hmm. and mentorship. Yeah. You need all three. The knowledge alone. Mm -hmm. I mean. Today, Dr. Google's got a million pages on any topic you want. Oh, yes. Right. You want to start oh, yeah. a podcast? I guarantee you there's a million pages on how to start a podcast. All right. But you've been in the business seven years. You've learned all sorts of things. Yes. If you were to teach people to start podcasts, you would give them advice that would save them time and money because of your oh, experience. Absolutely. I mean, my setup for podcasting looks nothing like it did when I first started, <laughs> <laughs> nothing. And it's, and it's, I mean, even when we, you know, we, cause we opened our second office here um, in the East coast and driving across country, I spent two days on the phone with someone talking them through how to start a podcast. Uh, and, yeah. and, it was, uh, and it, you know, so I mean, I felt good that I was able to deliver that knowledge to her that she can start her show. But at the same time, like you said, things change, you know, from seven years ago. And it is so different today than it was then. Then, you know, I had this huge big mixer board on my desk. I had no, no clue what the hell to do with that. But now I have this little little device. It's all I use. It's all I well, use. And, and I just got my first, my latest, actually my latest Kickstarter. You know, you can buy those Kickstarter programs oh, right. for yeah. people. Yeah. Look, I just got this. Oh, no. It's the is size that? of a lipstick tube. Yes. Weighs 14 grams, so less than an ounce. Now, what is that? It is, it replaces this. Um, it is a super high tech, super high end microphone, Bluetooth, really? wireless, and it clips on. Oh, I, mean, like, I need that. I need 150 that. Bucks, 100, I think they're now selling them for 150 bucks. And it's like, amazing. I'll test it. And I'll let you know if it's as yeah, good as me, they say. Yeah, you know what it is because I need a new mic. Now we're talking business off, off sign here. So yeah, but it's, but it's part of it, though, because here's the thing. Yeah. We learn from other people's experiences if we're yeah. smart. Right. Right. We can learn from our own mistakes or you can learn from other people's mm -hmm. mistakes. Right? right. Smart people learn from their mistakes. Geniuses learn from other people's mistakes. Well, so, and I'm in business to share my mistakes with you so you don't do them. <laughs> 
Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Uh, maybe I'm not the genius in the room, but I know what mistakes I've made. And those are the mistakes that I share. I'm an open book. And try not to do them again, right? Don't do them again. I know, yes. right? The Connie Five Show is heard everywhere. You can find The Connie Five Show on most of your favorite networks. It's time to now recognize and thank our major networks for all of their support. In the house, we have Conscious Business Radio, C-Suite Radio, Transformation Radio, iHeart Radio. We are also heard on Google Play, Apple, Radio, Stitcher, and so many more that I just can't keep up with them all. I'm Connie Pipe, your unstoppable diva. We'll learn more about our gym and how we can work together at my fancy swanky website, ConnieFifeShow.com. I'll see you over there. Until then, like, 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 share, share, share. Now back to the show. So what else with business? I mean, you have, I mean, the thought of what you're doing, the, the other part you talk about too is how not to get ripped off. And, and that's a little bit about what we were just talking about, making sure that you're working with um, a, a reputable group that they are going to provide those services. So how can someone tell, because everybody, you know, if they're out there with the best marketing, the best pitch, the best whatever, but they don't quite deliver. How do you know which is the best one to be working with? Great question. And it's the flip side of the strategy we want to talk about in a moment on how to have a great guarantee for your own things. Mm. It starts with if you're evaluating someone else's program, mm -hmm. right? Ask them, what do they guarantee? What do they guarantee? Not do they guarantee because right. that exposes they shouldn't. What do they guarantee? And and most people will say, oh, ho, ho, ho. we can't possibly guarantee results. We, we can't control you. We can't control this. We can't mm -hmm. control this. We can't control the weather. Well, no, I'm not talking the weather. I'm not paying the weatherman $10,000 or $20,000 for a program. Right. If I was paying that much for the weatherman, then I'd want results too. Right. <laughs> <laughs> then I'd want the AccuWeather satellite system or whatever it is, yeah, right? Give me so, so every day. <laughs> find out, find out, and also look at their payment structure mm -hmm. and do they link payments to your results mm -hmm. or do they link payments to time? Okay. Because here, my experience is people that are great are happy to guarantee mm -hmm. and not let you, you know, those of you that are professionals listening in, which I'm sure is most people. Yeah. When you guarantee results, you charge more. Yeah. So you make way more mm -hmm. and your customers are happier. Mm -hmm. It's this perfect combination. And so when you're looking to buy someone else's mm -hmm. program or invest mm -hmm. in their franchise or license or marketing help or whatever it is, mm -hmm. You know, like you're in the book world a whole bunch with the work right. that you do. We've talked about that. Right. Our first foray into the book world with this approach, mm -hmm. we guarantee a million dollars in sales. Mm. Literally as part of the contract. Well, you know, we're not with 87 and a half percent of our money linked to results. Right. Right. Well, we're not going to do that if we don't know how to deliver results. Right. 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 I mean, that's we're just not going to because we like it's not it's crazy world to do that. And so when you're evaluating someone else's program, just start by asking that question. And then if they won't. Walk away. Mm -hmm. Walk away. There are so many people out there that are awesome at what they do. You don't have to take that extra risk. Now, you may have a reason because you know them or been referred by someone who knows right. them. That's right. fine. Mm -hmm. right? Uh, but, but my philosophy is real simple. If they're capable of guaranteeing results, they ought to be guaranteeing results. Mm -hmm. it, it's called aligned outcomes. If right. we're both aligned, right? Then all of a sudden it's like, well, of course it works. If you get you get more, if we get more, it's like a good joint venture, right? Yes. We're talking about doing different joint ventures all the time. You're talking about doing all the time, and now right. you and Jeff and I, and we're talking about another one. Right. Well, guess what? When you do a good joint venture, you both get compensated based on the results, right? So, so we do this all the time. We just don't always think about it with our own program, right? Right. So, what's the way to leverage your guarantee? Well, there's there's five there's six steps to creating an amazing I call it risk reversal because okay. it, it starts with that actually it starts with the concept you're changing the risk from your mm -hmm. prospect shoulders to your shoulders that's why it's risk reversal and by the way 
the data on this is nine times as many people will raise their hand to learn more from you. Nine times. When you guarantee it. When you guarantee. Now, you won't sell nine times as many. Mm -hmm. Why do you think that is, Connie? Uh, nine times as many will raise their hand, but why won't you sell nine times nine as many? Nine times as many. I don't, I don't know. I don't want to guess. <laughs> will you screen them carefully? Oh, absolutely. So, so, oh, I get, okay. So now it's back on you to make the choice and selection of who you want to be working with. You only take people in if you know you can get them results. Right. And when you guarantee results, you don't even need training on that. No, no. <laughs> right? It's automatic. Okay. It's like, oh, yeah, right. nope, nope, there's no way. You know, I had this guy approach me one time. He wanted to help do a high-end joint venture. It was a $100,000 contract. Okay. And his background and his experience. Experience and it was like, nope, no way. Mm -hmm. I could not deliver for him. I liked him as a person. Right. But, but the business he wanted to do, in this case, it was expanding retail stores in one part of Africa. And I have retail experience and I have shopping center experience, but I know nothing about Africa, uh, Africa. retail. And he wanted to be one area and he didn't want to be anywhere else. And he also, by the way, had a reason. Lots of potential, lots of upside. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, you know, Bishwajit was his name. I said, Bishwajit, I, I can't help you. Yeah. You just I, I just can't help you. you. I can't you take your money because it's not going to do it. Right. So the first, the first step is but just to understand. Point, but that's an important point that you bring up that because sometimes you, you're sitting and you're like, okay, why did I take this person? But the biggest thing is, can you deliver for that person that they're just not a warm body? Yes. You need to make sure that you are going to deliver for that person. If you can't, you need to say no. Totally. So, so my experience is you get three times as much sales. Mm -hmm. You get nine times as many prospects. You get right. three times as much sales. sales. Okay. Um, so the first step is identify the biggest risk your prospects face when working with you. Just put together a list, brainstorm, mm -hmm. talk to some of your prospects, talk to some of your clients. What are the risks they face when working with you? Right. You know, the old joke about IBM was, uh, you know, everyone else called them inferior, but marketable. Yes. <laughs> right. But but no one ever got fired for hiring IBM. Mm -hmm. They never got fired for hiring yeah. IBM. So if you're selling to corporate or you're selling to governments, one of the risks is they get fired if they hire you and you don't work yes. out. Well, you you better factor that into your guarantee mm -hmm. because that's a big one, right? I don't sell to that audience, but if I did, I would have to factor that in. Right. Right. So come up with a list of all the risks they face in addition mm -hmm. to time and money. Those are the obvious ones. Yes. Come up with all the risks and identify them. Um, and then the second step is to create the biggest possible guarantee you can create before you figure out how, okay. before you figure out fine mm -hmm. print and all this stuff. Literally brainstorm what is the biggest possible, biggest, amazingest thing I could do right. first and list them all, list them all. Mm -hmm. So if you were teaching someone to become a podcaster, right? Could I make them $100,000 a year? Maybe. Could I make them a million a year? Mm, not mm. podcasting. Yeah, no. Okay, so a hundred million I couldn't, but could I do a quarter million? Maybe. All right, let's take quarter million. All right, quarter million dollar podcaster program. Okay, that's the second step, right? Right. Then the third step is where there's some work required. You figure out how do you deliver on that bold guarantee? Right. Not, listen to this, people tuning in, not could I... But how, how would I? Mm -hmm. If you have a mastermind, bring it to your mastermind. Right. If you have a board of advisors, board of directors, bring it to those. Right. If you have neither of those three, time to get one. <laughs> I was going to say, I was going to say, yeah, you better have one of those. Yeah, you don't want your barber being the only person you bounce business strategy <laughs> off of. Like, you know, most barbers are not good at business strategy. They're good at right. cutting hair. Right. Right. They're, and so they're good, they're good at giving advice. <laughs> they're great at giving advice. But um, there was an old real estate multimillionaire who uh, his entire strategy for picking markets was he would fly to a new market right. and take a bunch of cabs to bars. And he would ask the cabbie and the bartender, what's real estate like in this town? Uh huh. If they all said one way, yes. he did the opposite. Okay. And he was worth over $100 million. Right. If they're they were the mixed. People, they're the best people to go to, really. Well, if they were mixed, if they, no, but here's the thing. Uh, if they were mixed advice, he, uh -huh. didn't, he didn't buy. But if they all said buy, he sold. Mm. If they all said sell, he bought. 
Because his philosophy is, if they were any good at real estate, they wouldn't be bartenders or cab drivers. They were doing right. So it's the opposite. You got to be careful who you get advice from. Right. (laughs) You got to be careful you get advice from. So number three is figure out how you can deliver on that. And there's a bunch of elements to that. And and if you want, I can give you uh, a link for your listeners to uh, to to listen to a detailed free video on Mm -hmm. this, where I go into the methods because we're not going to cover it in a podcast, and they're not going to take notes. Chances are they're at the gym or they're walking or whatever they're doing. Right. Right. But there are ways to look at that and say, okay, how do I deliver on that? How do I deliver on that? How do I deliver on that? But for any any experience experienced entrepreneur, you simply, as soon as you ask that question, how could I? Mm-hmm. You then start figuring out, oh, well, yeah, I could do that. I could do that. I could do that. Like my favorite is the my favorite objection is, well, but if I'm a coach, well, I can't guarantee they'll listen. Well, no, you can't no. guarantee they'll listen, but you can put accountability partners in place. Yes. You can put group coaching in place to kick their butt publicly and embarrass them mm. if they don't listen. Right. You can threaten to fire them from your coaching program and kick them out if they don't listen. Okay. Like there's a lot of things you can do, carrot and stick. Right. To motivate change. Right. No, we go, we go through the exact same thing. And even with our talent, you know, it's our, it's our family. We have a mastermind, or we call it our round table. It's a mastermind. Love it. Um, so in our round table, every month, we all come together. We talk about the high, we talk about the lows, and then there is an accountability. And then there is an accountability partner. So they're getting it from more than just me or other members of our team. They're getting it from their peers. Well, and that actually gets into the fourth element, because mm-hmm. I want to be sensitive of your time. And that is, we call it annuaging your plan. The smartest coach outside of Jay Abraham that I know is a guy called Anure Gupta. He runs a company called The Difference Engine. He takes companies that do 10 million a year, Connie, right. and gets them to a billion a year. Mm. And has a 100% success rate. Okay. He's okay. crazy. He's oh crazy. He's crazy. Yeah. And, 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 and he teaches a goal setting strategy that we teach in a lot of our master classes. Right. I call it annuaging in his honor. But basically, if you have a goal, let's say right. you want to say these podcasters, you're going to get to a quarter million. Right. Okay? Mm-hmm. You take the goal of a quarter million and you double it to half a million. First right. thing you do, double the goal. Then you come up with three different ways they can do a half a million. Yeah. Three separate, unique strategies. Okay. And that's the game you're playing. So now you're actually going after six times the original Mm. goal. Okay. So listeners, think of the last time you set a major important goal. Did you get 18% of the way there? Mm. 18%. 18%. Most of us don't hit our goals. Most of us don't hit our goals. Right. We get a third of the way or half the way or a quarter of the way. If you just got 18% of the mm. way there, and your ragging guarantees you'll make it next time. Mm. You build in redundancy. And there's some yes. advanced ways to do that. But on a simple level, think of it as three ways to get there. Well, I like what you're saying about redundancy, too. Like you said, you have three ways to get there. And, you know, you try A, you try B, you try C. And simultaneously, simultaneously, and sim- right? And you simul simultaneously, and you r- you run those together, and you flow those together. So, and, and you know, it comes back to how can you not make that goal, and yes. that's how you will reach one hundred percent of your goals. And extra for experts, for you pros, if they're synergistic, there's a compounding effect, right? And that's where you even get the higher. Totally. The higher totally. That's where we found out with our scholarship already. Mm-hmm. We, we have, a, we have a, a program that's the next step from that scholarship that's right. 25000 Right. And we credit the $10,000 scholarship and they just pay the difference. Right. Leads to results. That's the last step. I'll talk about that in a quick moment. Okay. But, but that was the only thing we thought of from an upsell point of view. We didn't even think about our other programs. Right. Well, we just started this five weeks ago, this new mm-hmm. strategy. We've had two people step up and buy six-figure programs from it already. And you're like, hmm. Like orders of magnitude more of an upsell than we even thought. Right. Guess what? Why? They love where we're coming from. Mm-hmm. And they go, well, you're going to do all that and help us out? Well, why would I not do that? Like right. this cool model where we realized, oh my gosh, the synergy mm-hmm. of teaching how to create your own high-ticket program, we use our programs in the course. We describe them in the course. Right. And And so those two people came to us, not from us pitching them, but from them reaching out saying, can we get that? 
Like, is it possible for me to and buy that's that? What you want. And that's what you're right. And that's what you want. You want totally. You, right. You want, you want them totally. to you. That's and that leads to the you. last key thing. And I want to make sure we get this in under the wire. Yeah. Get right Gotta the link wire. your payments, link your payments to your clients results. Our typical high, uh, high ticket program is a quarter up front. Right. A quarter when they get a win that's big enough to self fund. Right. And the other half when they get the home run number. Mm, the other it. half when they get the home run number. Love it. By doing it that way, it's literally a no brainer for people to say yes to you, mm-hmm. even if it's your first program on this topic. Mm. In fact, especially if it's your you're, first program. Well, right again, you're breaking it down. Like you said, the carrot and the stick. Yep. You're breaking it down. You're going to hold them accountable through it. They want the results and then they will pay. I love it. I mean, it's. And guess what? Model. You're like, super yeah. motivated to get them results now. Right. Because then you want to get your fees in there. <laughs> right. Like it's, you don't need a course in motivation. Right. You don't need to, to, to go to a Tony Robbins Unleash the Power Within course. Right. You're motivated because if you get them there, you get another big payment. Exactly. Exactly. Right. And in this case, you get up to four times, right? The, the way our structure works. So it's a, it, that, those five steps, right? Quickly review, identify the biggest risks your prospects face working with you, create the biggest possible guarantee you can create, figure out how to deliver on it. Okay. Extra, extra for experts, add in reasonable fine print, mm-hmm. but don't make it a fine print exercise. It's not about the fine print. All of our guarantees. Mm-hmm our sole discretion of the client. Right. No fine print. Okay. You make more money and you make, and you have bigger impact, no but print. no fine print. I love that. Cause I, I, I am an open book and I tell people that all the time, there is no fine print. Like this is it. And I love, I love how you're doing that model as well, because people trust you more. Totally. You give, they do. They trust totally. you more when you give them, give it to them that way. But Tom, we do have to go, but where, where can, where can our listeners go to find out more about your programs? So we're going to give you a link that people okay. can use if they want to apply for a scholarship because it's not a public URL. We're just using it okay. for situations like this. Right. So I'll get you the link. You guys will see it below in the show notes or wherever okay. County okay. you put it. Sure. And that is a, an offer for a full $10,000 scholarship. Okay. To our Game Changer Program Academy. Okay. You have to qualify when you fill out the mini application. Right. But here's the thing. If you don't, and about 12% of the applicants so far haven't, we'll send you some awesome free training just to make up for it. Because uh, this program only works if you have authority uh, or at least have started building authority. Right. If you have no authority, it's not going to work for you. So we're not, not going to waste your work. time. Right. Even free. I don't want to waste your time free. I don't want to waste mm-hmm. our team's time. But we right. will do that and, and we will set aside... Uh, let's see. With your show, we'll set aside ten scholarships, Connie. How's oh, that? Oh, ten! What? One hundred thousand dollars worth of scholarships. Let's do wow. it. Let's have wow. some fun. But thank you. Thank you're you. You're welcome. We love you. We love you for that. Well, Tom, uh, you've been you've been great. You've been fantastic. You've been awesome. Um, I look forward to seeing you again. I know we're going to see each other again soon. But thank you for being here, and you're always welcome back. You're welcome. And thanks for making time. And thanks for helping other entrepreneurs get out there and inspire other entrepreneurs, because really, that's how we change the world. You know what? That's how we change the world. Entrepreneurs are the greatest force for good on the planet if they're doing it right. And so thank you for the work you're doing, Connie. Uh, absolutely. Absolutely. Well, that's all we got for today, folks. I hope you enjoyed the show. Tom Matson. Unbelievable. Uh, you're going to find the link right here in the body of the of the show, of the email and the postings. And head over to his website. Find out, find out more about his programs. Just amazing. I love it. And I'm Connie Five Year Recovering C-Suite Executive myself. But remember, if you find something that uh, you, you're at a crossroads, you want to share a message, you're looking to skill your business and becoming a highly paid keynote speaker and stepping on that big stage, check us out at talentconcierge.co. You're listening to The Connie Five Show. Have a great week and always be kind to each other. Bye-bye. Hey, y'all, it's Connie Five. Thank you for listening to the Connie Five Show. Check back often. You don't want to miss any of the good stuff. If you like what you hear and would like to be a guest on the show, head over to the ConnieFiveShow.com to apply. While you're there, check out our amazing advertising opportunities that will put you right in 
front of your perfect voyage. I will see you over there. Do yourself a favor this week, activate your power, and be unstoppable together.